players that I think are the most underrated signings in free agency thus far. Now, it could be for a lot of money, but I still think that these four players are the most underrated pieces that any team could sign. So let's first start off with DJ Chark for the Detroit Lions. I do believe personally that this is an underrated signing because Amon Ross St. Brown has emerged as the number one target for Jared Goff. They re-signed Josh Reynolds to a two-year, $12 million deal, and now you add DJ Chark to a one-year prove-it deal. I know that last year he was dealing with injuries, but let's not forget that he was uh, he was either a Pro Bowl consideration or an actual Pro Bowler just a couple of years ago for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, a 1,000-yard receiver in the past. Um you know, he's just coming off his rookie contract. I like DJ Chark a lot. And I was, you know, pretty adamant on, okay, if he goes into the free agency market, he's got to get a deal that's maybe closer to like a four-year, three-year deal that's make it somewhere around like 12, 13, 14 million dollars a year. Well, I mean, he's making 10 million dollars uh, on a one-year deal with the Detroit Lions. Again, the Lions have nothing to lose. In this aspect, that's why I like DJ Chark as being an underrated signing for the Lions. You finally have your wide receiver market, your wide receiver core set in for the most part. It's not the greatest out there, but compared to 2021, Detroit Lions definitely a step up. I like DJ Chark as an underrated signing. Uh, The next player that I want to talk about that's a very underrated signing is actually Hassan Reddick. Okay, fantastic name, by the way. Uh, Spelled a little bit differently, but Hassan Reddick is a player that I've loved ever since his days of being drafted out of Temple with the Arizona Cardinals. I don't know what it was, but it just did not work out with the Cardinals. I mean, he was very good. Maybe it just it was money, and they just couldn't agree to a deal. And then he goes out and signs a short contract with the Carolina Panthers and has another great season with the Panthers. So he's just having great season after great season after great season. And no team wants to keep him. And maybe it's because of the uh, of the money that he's asking for. Could make a lot of sense. Now, the Eagles have committed to him for three years. As you can see here, three-year, $45 million deal for Hassan Reddick. And that's going to be a key piece and, and a replacement. And a step up, I would say, from Derek Barnett and the other key pieces that they're losing on that defense. So, uh, for the Eagles, I think this is a very underrated signing in general. I think he's going to be one of the better defensive players in the NFL next season. Uh, and it's going to greatly improve that Eagles defense. So, Reddick, $45 million deal, a lot of money, but still a very underrated piece for the Philadelphia Eagles. Some A player that I actually kind of compare him to and the you know going from team to team to team is Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks has not been a bad player in his NFL career, but he's been just, you know, what's the term that everybody's saying is getting passed around more than a blunt for Brandon Cooks. You know, I mean, you've been hearing that for years in regards to Brandon Cooks. Like, he's just, no team wants to settle with him. The Patriots, Saints, whoever, nobody wants to settle with him. Uh, Chase Edmonds is also the uh, underrated player that I want to talk about. A two-year, $12 million deal. Uh, So on TikTok, I came out with a video, just a quick one-minute video talking about the signing of Chase Edmonds, and I kind of rated it like a 7 out of 10 uh, because I like it. I think anything is an improvement from the Miami Dolphins running back situation with Miles Gaskin being the leading rusher. I know that Duke Johnson came on pretty strong towards the end of the season, but uh, he wasn't a long-term option. He's 29 years old. He's not going to get re-signed, maybe potentially, but I I, I think that Chase Edmonds is a step up from any of the other Miami Dolphins running backs that they had. Now, the only thing that I said was, hey, if you add some offensive linemen to that uh, Miami Dolphins' brutal offensive line, then Chase Edmonds will be a hit. Uh, and they added Connor Williams, signed him to a deal earlier uh, just about a couple of days ago. So uh, Chase Edmonds is going to come into an offense that's run by Mike McDaniel. Mike McDaniel, coming from the San Francisco 49ers, who was the offensive coordinator, who likes to run the ball a lot. We know about the 49ers' run game being so successful. Enter into the Miami Dolphins. Then you're going to see Chase Edmonds excel if they bolster that offensive line because McDaniel is all about the offensive line. It does not matter which running back you have back there. Could be Chase Edmonds. I don't think Edmonds is going to be the three-down back, but he's going to be the lead back. So if you pair him with uh, Miles Gaskin as the RB2, whichever young running back they draft as the RB2, this is going to be beautiful because Mike McDaniel is going to call his own offensive plays. He's already confirmed that. So Chase Edmonds is the next underrated player that I wanted to talk about. 
Love the signing. And the last underrated player, probably the most underrated signing in free agency because not a lot of people know about him. You know about him if you're a Rams fan and if you are a huge NFL fan and you follow defensive players and you know about the impact that this guy had made in the Rams Super Bowl victory or at least Super Bowl run towards a victory, Sebastian Joseph Day, S-G-D, S, wow, I'm dyslexic, uh, S-J-D, golly, we'll cut that part out, maybe, but Sebastian Joseph Day has signed a three-year, $24 million deal with the Los Angeles Chargers, oh my goodness, this Chargers defense, hey, we talked about the Jaguars, how they are bolstering this offense, let's take a moment to talk about the Char- the Chargers defense, the Chargers defense, J.C. Jackson, Asante Samuel already there. Derwin James already there. Joey Bosa already there. Then you traded for Khalil Mack. And now you signed Sebastian Joseph Day. And they added another defensive lineman as well. I think it's Austin Johnson that they signed. This Chargers defense, guys, watch out for this defense. I'm telling you, top 10 defense next season, at least maybe even top five defense. They were 9-8 and eight last season. They had the potential to make the playoffs. And if they made the postseason... Who knows? Maybe they would have gone on to the divisional round of the playoffs. Maybe they would have gone on to the championship. Who knows what would have happened with the Chargers. On offense, already set. They're fine. Now you bolster their defense. They're moving up and up and up. And I'm telling you that AFC West division is going to be so freaking competitive. The Chargers are a team to watch out for. We already knew how great their offense was. But their defense, amazing. Sebastian Joseph Day helps out so much in that aspect. So to kind of recap the underrated players that I was talking about, DJ Chark to the Lions, I like it a lot. Hassan Reddick to the Eagles, I like it a lot. Chase Edmonds to the Dolphins, underrated. And then Sebastian Joseph Day to the Chargers. Leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on some other players that you think are underrated signings and free agency thus far.